Unlock elevator. Yeah, that should be it. Right? We should be good, right? Why is this green arrow still pointing? Hold on. Um. Ooh. I see there's some messages here. Let's do the deleted messages. The schedule you sent me must be a template or the work of an intern because it's patently insane. We're nowhere near to hitting Lucian's proposed milestones, branding's hopes and wishes. Won't magically change that no matter how, what the corporate office says. My compound is months from viable, Lawrence. It kills people. If you like proof, you're welcome to try it yourself. I'll even show you where to stick it. Damn. I expect to see a revised schedule before the week is out. Yo, Ali is going in. But you know what, Ali? Good for you for setting work boundaries. I'm proud of you. I've seen the brand managers sniffing about, Lawrence. I know your department is gearing up for a big announcement, and mine is the only project on this fucking asteroid. Send me your intended production and release schedule immediately. Yeah, Ali is just not in the mood. Not in the mood at all. Lawrence, this is a waste of my time. The last thing my team needs is a fleet of gate files descending on the labs and asking so Stupid questions. We're months behind as it is. However, because Lucian demanded it, I will consider the program's request if the following conditions are met. Lucian guarantees me the right to review and approve the recordings. The journalists are confined to Gorgon for the duration of the project. It could be years. Make sure they understand that. If they leak the details of our work to the press, I will put a hit out on them myself. I know people, Lawrence. Yo, this Ali guy is a g like i need i need him on my team or her him or her i need them on, on my team the journalists bunk in shipping and receiving we can't have them fraternizing with the project staff outside of their scheduled interviews these people are our enemies not our friends no one will be coming down with an acute case of friendship on my watch my team will not be held responsible for the invariable delays this tomfoolery will cause the only individual who will be working overtime on this is you. Understood? Cheers. This Ollie person sounds like my coworker named Shelby. Have the right amount of spunk, attitude, and spice that I admire. Seriously, I love this. Bring them to me immediately. And for fuck's sake, don't let the journalist off the fucking asteroid. You think you can hide from me, you little twerp? I know a serum that will make you feel as if you've lived a thousand years in just eight hours. How would you like to spend the night in waste processing? <laughs> Cheers, Ollie. Oh, Lord, I love this. Change the fucking name, Lawrence. I don't care if the inbred supplicants or at headquarters were just having a laugh. Customers don't know what it means. You may choose from this list of acceptable alternatives. Absurable toll? Cleap Max, Binatron, Imogen. Cheers. I don't know if I said this correctly or not, but... Okay, so this is Lawrence. Let me see. If you are receiving this message, I am currently unavailable in my absence. I have instructed my secretary, Herbert Harrell, to reply to any incoming messages with this pre-approved response. Vicariously, Lawrence... She's trying to get away. Great timing. I was just sending Herbie over to your department with a preliminary production schedule. As with so much of the work we do at the OCI, the design of a production schedule is more of an art than a science. The timetables and milestones are less contractual obligation and more aspirational cartography. Shut up, Lawrence. Oh my goodness. He would be the one. Approved. Next time, allow me to make this kind of announcement myself, Mr. Mosley. Hierarchy exists for a reason. Shut up, Lawrence. God, I can see why Ali stay talking shit about you. All right. 
I did it. Cheers. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take that. Perfect. And I could have sworn there should be something here for me. Right? Hold on. Is that a toss ball stick? I'll take that. Thank you. I love taking... Oh! Oh! Yeah, shoot up to the robot. Thank you. We need to work on your gun. There's no reason why you need to be struggling after shooting. We're going up? Okay. I guess we can do that. No, we're going down! No! Whoa, wh what is this? Oh, this is outside. Okay, well, we need to get upstairs. I'm sorry. I know, I'm a pain. Bear with me here. Just, I don't know, stop judging me. Thank you. Okay, so clearly this is the elevator. What about this door? Ooh, okay. Ah, a whole bunch of uh, dead nothings. Upstairs? Ah, now right that here. Someone's telling us not to go digging. I kind of want to go digging. Same. Never listened to warnings before. I don't expect we'll start now. You know what? This is why you two are awesome. I I rock with you guys. Somebody's trying to stop you. That just means you're on the right track. Didn't you see a big communication tower on the way over here? I'm hoping this leads us to someone we can talk with face to face, or punch if it comes to that. You remind me of my work wife, because she likes to punch everything. As far as the tower, yes, we did come across one, so we should be there in a couple minutes. Moments. Minutes. Who, kn who knows? Who cares? Is the same thing to me. We are here at the Calm Towers. And I'm curious to see what else is in here. I'll take that. I'll take that. I guess this is all that is left, maybe? I'll take that. I don't see any other passageways or doors. Just this terminal here. Yep, wait. I'll take that, thank you. Anyways, to the terminal. Th wait, what is this? Huh. So, Clarence Mosley. Which, Clarence is in Byzantium right now. Hmm. We've been through a lot together, old friend, but they just blared the evacuation order. Guess that's the end of Gorgon. For the record, you're my favorite comms tower in the whole system. I'll never forget you. Love, technician number 13, junior grade. Aww, that's so cute. I, too, tend to grow attached to inanimate objects, like my guitars or my car. And yes, I named them as well. The last escape shuttle left a few of us in its dust. Never see anyone lift off in such a hurry. We scatter like roaches. It's every man and woman for themselves now. You're still up and running, I see. Looks like only one employee left with their tracker flipped on. What a rube. Signing off for good this time. You take care of yourself, Calm Tower. Don't forget to stand up straight like I taught you. Best technician number 13, junior grade. How cute. So, we have to go over to where? Musgrave Family Collection. Okay, I guess we can just hurry along. Who knew a darkness lurked in the heart of Gorgon? Captain Hawthorne and her crew were about to find out. I'm just hoping we don't need Lucky's arm to open something else. Please don't tell me that, because I will cry if it comes down to that. Captain, transmission request from Andros Manor. Oh no, what happened? Can't... Uh, okay. I'm guessing Mini wants an update. Patch her through. Captain, imagine my surprise when I saw the unreliable leaving Gorgon with so much urgency and purpose. 
tell me you found Mother's journal. I'm positively dying for good news. So... Not yet. Your mother's office has been sealed tight. Too bad. But on the bright side, you've outdone my old freelancer. I don't think you made it very far at all. If I know Spacer's choice, getting past the lockdown will be more complicated than just hitting a big red button. You'll need authorization and layers of it. Are you familiar with Gorgon's old research stuff? I seem to recall that Mother worked closely with Gorgon's R&D personnel. But not close enough to invite them over for dinner and cocktails, if you get my meaning. By now, they'll have moved on with their lives. If only I could do the same. Did you know that Gorgon was developing Adrena Time? I knew Mother was involved with some important chemical trials. But I had no idea her pet project was Adrena Time. Adrena Time is a working man's stimulant. Like a caffeinoid. Very popular at launch. Though the marketing quieted down over time. Were you aware that Adrena Time created Marauders? What? No. I mean, there's some very morbid wording in the fine print, but I had no idea Adrena Time could make Marauders out of people. That's it. That must be it. Spacer's choice is keeping their dirty little secret about Adrena Time off the record. We have to find Mother's journal. If we don't, then Spacer's choice gets away with murder. I only hope we aren't too late. Why would Spacer's choice risk everything for a stimulant? Adrena Time was touted as the working man's best friend. A drug that boosted productivity with no adverse effects. The promise of Adrena Time cannot be overstated. Exhaustion and fatigue were supposed to be obsolete. Workplace accidents would be things of the past. For whatever reason, the drug never lived up to that promise. Could one drug really do all of that? I don't know. And thanks to Spacer's choice, we may never find out. I know that I'd like to see a colony where the promise of Adrena time was fulfilled. And I doubt I'm the only one. Hmm. Well, I'm heading back out. You really know your business, Minnie. Thank you. I certainly ought to know what I'm doing. I spent years trying to break into pharmaceuticals, professionally speaking. Mother wouldn't hear of it. She didn't think I had the wit to succeed in her line of work. Safe travels. If your leads give you any trouble, be sure and give them some trouble back, yes? Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Be seeing you, Minnie. All right, well, being that we are over Byzantium, let me go and get my favorite two followers. So Ada isn't really alive, but it... Sorry. She can still talk like a person. What about Sam? What's it... Sorry. He... Is he the same thing? Well, Sam's an auto-mechanical thing, not a computer brain thing like Ada. I don't think Sam understands gender, so you can call him it if you want. Right, but she's a machine, he's a machine. How are they different? Yeah, you how? Know I said Ada was special. Her wiring's a whole lot more complex than Sam's, so she can simulate a personality better than he can. She got more tools in her box, so to speak. That's a good metaphor. I like that. So he's following his own rules, making everything obnoxiously clean because he has to. Maybe I ought to let up on him a bit. I can't believe that. There's still dead bodies laying around on Byzantium. But then again, at the same time, am I really surprised? No, I'm not. I mean, look at this. Look at all these bodies. Oh, I'm glad she's dead. She was so annoying, honestly. Oh, this is, uh... Hey, decent? Your face. Yeah? You're wanted by the board. No, I'm not. Wow. Shh. You're a living, breathing outlaw. That is, until security outside gets their eyes on you, but let's not spoil the moment. If you're here for the annual Canid review, I'm afraid it's already over. Only thing going on behind those doors is good, old-fashioned, lawful behavior. This greeting constitutes your confidentiality agreement. You hereby agree not to disclose the location or existence of these events. Thank you for cooperating. 
Canon review? I don't know anything about like Canon review. Exactly. You do catch on fast. I mean, yeah. Now then, how can I help you? I'm looking for Clarence Mosley. Mr. Mosley is indeed attending our event, although I am disappointed to discover he did not officially enter his canid Laplace into our competition. You should find Mr. Mosley just inside the prep room. Head inside and take the door to your left. What's with all the secrecy? This place isn't exactly hard to find. We find that our clients enjoy the appearance of participating in illegal activities. Secrecy contributes to a feeling of indecency. The Musgrave family collection was intended to be a gallery of fine art. And here we are, using this place to practice semi-legal canid shows. Scandalous, isn't it? Wow, you're just horny for criminal activity, I guess. You said this place was supposed to be an art gallery. What happened? That's privileged information. I really shouldn't tell you. Hmm, of course. I thought you were into breaking rules. That's a fair point. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll tell you. But just keep this between us. <laughs> Goody. Guaranteed secrecy is expensive, you know. Oh, it's all right. I'll give you this little secret for free. What is the it? The Musgraves own one of Earth's largest private collections of art and literature. They were going to have the entire collection shipped all the way to Halcyon. Unfortunately, that collection never arrived. We haven't heard anything from the delivery convoy, and there's some purely hypothetical concern that the collection might be, well... Lost? I was going to say indefinitely delayed by unforeseen and unknowable circumstances, but yes. Let's go with that. Anyway, that's as much as I can tell you. Will there be anything else? Excuse me. That was very interesting. Wow, this place is beautiful. I do enjoy the green, but I feel like there should be different shades of green to at least balance it out, you know? Prep room, right here. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to jump. Ooh, this is a interesting room here too. Clarence. Hey, Maverick Johnston's newest star. I've got a question for you. Yes. Do you know the interesting thing about canid shows? Trick question. There isn't anything interesting about canid shows. Oh, but there is. If one possesses an eye for statistics. Would you have one less? speaking, the interesting thing about canid shows is this. They're an exercise in futility. Winning is predetermined. Over time, the inevitable trend is that the race goes to the swift. Time and chance are just statistical outliers. In other words, if you put enough canids through enough trials, the one with the most optimal attributes generally wins. Exercise in futility. Why are you telling me this? Oh, I've been told I should try to socialize more. Sharing an interesting fact is a proven method of endearing oneself to a stranger. Oof. I'm an actuary, you see. Well, not entirely. The actuarial sciences are more of a passion than a profession. So I suppose that makes me mostly an actuary. I That's mean, I would have come up with a bit of icebreaker, but... Mostly. So... I've been looking for you. You're you're the last known staff member on Project Gorgon. Oh. <clears throat> then you're not here about my monograph. No. It's true. I was involved with Project Gorgon, but that chapter of my life is long since closed. Listen, I don't know what you want with Gorgon or with me, but let me give you some free advice, hmm? Let the past go. Live in the moment. Enjoy the party. Huh. The minute factory is on emergency lockdown. I just need you to help me lift it. Lifting the lockdown won't be easy. You'll need to send overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. I don't have that level of clearance, but I know two people who do. 
Who? The trouble Who? is, I don't know you. Okay. I don't trust you. Oh, Lord. I washed my hands of Gorgon, and you're asking me to dirty them all over again. I'm going to need a good reason. Pff, come on, man, really? Okay. Project Gorgon created the Marauders. You can't just walk away from that. Yes, the birthplace of the Marauders. And a graveyard for all our mistakes. Mm -hmm. Starting Project Gorgon was our first mistake. So are you feeling guilty Trying to help to me? Trying to bury Project Gorgon while it's still very much alive and clawing its way back to the surface? That may be our last mistake. Listen, listen. Nobody has to know you were involved. Give me what I want and I'll be on my way. I want a favor from you. Of course you do. Do something for me and I'll do something for you. That way we don't have to rely on mutual trust. A grand prize trophy to the Canid Review. I want it in my hands. Get me that trophy and I'll give you the remaining researchers. Names, locations, as much information as I have. What's so important about a trophy? My canid, Laplace, is statistically superior to every other canid in this review. Better average sprinting time, superior gait coefficient, optimal anatomical symmetry. I didn't bother entering little Laplace in this pointless contest. He's already won on paper, you see. That trophy rightfully belongs to him. Champagne problems. Whew. That might be the most Byzantium thing I've ever heard. Oh, you're much too kind. Not a compliment. It? It's not a compliment. I'll be back with that trophy. Head into the main hall and take the elevator down into the maintenance tunnels. You'll find a service passage that leads up into the trophy room. The maintenance tunnel is the only way up into the trophy room. Some technician barred the door shut on our end. Ask Tilda Coatsworth about it over by the podium. Before I go, there was something else. What's on your mind? What can you tell me about Project Gorgon? At the moment, nothing. I have a one-track mind. Mm -hmm. I can't stop thinking about that trophy. So convenient. Why Whatever. Hands? When is it going to be in my hands? And so on and so forth. You get me that best-in-show trophy, and it'll clear my mind right up. So, I found this eye. My eye! I was wondering where I'd misplaced that old thing. It's perfectly preserved, you know. Every eye possesses unique dimensions, not unlike a fingerprint. The circumference, the shape, the color of the iris. An eye makes excellent proof of identification, assuming you don't mind removing one. So how'd you lose your eye? I'd rather not get into the details. If Spacer's Choice ever asks you to test out their new model of monocle, just say no. Hmm, right. I'll leave you be. This is so interesting. I mean, in order for me to get help, I gotta help him and la di la di la. This is a private party. No solicitors. I'm not no one. No vagabonds. Oh, what? No freelancers. Rude. If you're here to offer your services as an entertainer, we're not interested. Wow. I was actually here about the Canid Review. Unfortunately, you're too late. Mm -hmm. The review ended a few days ago. We've submitted our results to the Judiciary Committee and await arbitration. In eight to ten short weeks, we'll have the name of a winner. Probably. Eight to ten that weeks? Gives us eight to ten weeks to file a maintenance request. Our technician barred the vault door and then disappeared without a trace. Can you believe that? Wow. Unbelievable. Whatever happened to competent help? Now you're speaking my language. Mm -hmm. The Musgrave Vault contracted a security consultant from UDL. They sent a technician to install a few security upgrades. Anti-dissident auto-mechanicals and the like. That technician barred the vault, but neglected to leave us with a way in from here. He wasn't seen leaving the security room, so I can't imagine where he's gone off to. Isn't there another way into the trophy room? What about the maintenance tunnels? The tunnels are guarded by auto-mechanical security. 
I don't look nearly boorish enough to resemble a UDL guard, so they'd probably shoot me on sight. In any case, I'd rather not step foot in the tunnels. The tunnels are for disposing of unwanted refuse, and no place for a respectable Byzantine. I can find a way into the vault for you. You won't have to dirty your hands. Your eagerness to serve your betters is commendable. Here's a key card. Thank you. It should help you get around inside the tunnels. Now, was there anything else? I'd like to get back to mastering over the ceremonies, or people might question why I have this role at all. I'll be on my way. Boy, oh boy, do I have the key. I'm excited. Wow, that's a, that's a cute puppy. Right. A very cute puppy. Alright, let's see how bad this thing is. Can't believe we're going to the basement. You know how many crazy stuff happens in the basement? I'm not looking forward to this at all. I'll take that. I'll take that. Wow. So it's right in here, huh? Ooh, that was pretty tough. Then again, I could have sneaked. Ooh, look at this! Free stuff! Yes! I just love getting free stuff. I'll take that. I'll take... Wait a minute. Dead cannons? These dead cannons show signs of domestication and extensive grooming. Wow, they're all dead. I feel really sad about them. I'll take that. Get it! How? How is that thing so- okay, good. And second of all, what's in here? Stuff? Thank you. I'll take that. I'll take this. I'll take that. And I'll take all of this because no one else is going to use it. Trust me on this. I would know. I'll take that. And, uh, yeah. I'll take this. And also, I just realized that was the dead technician. Scary. Real scary. I'll take that. I'll take that. And let's go down. Or up. I'm yeah, we're going up. Ooh, can I just sneak? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make sure that I take it without anyone realizing it. All that pomp and circumstance out there. For this, what the hell's the point? Oh, this is why I rock with you, Nokia. I agreed to. And no one realized it's gone. Come now, Anubis, you must perfect. Who the hell names their pet Anubis? Bro, come on. You don't have to be scared of these canids, Captain. I don't think they're gonna hurt you. I'm not scared, it's just, you know, they don't look friendly. They really don't. You know, the careers of nine out of 13 actors end after their debut serial. Enjoy the fame while it lasts. Clarence, you think I care about being famous? Anyways, today's your lucky day, Clarence. I've got your trophy. My trophy? Mm -hmm. Look at this thing. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a more garish monument to the boredom of the elite? If only Grandfather Mostly were alive today, I would have loved to wave this trophy right in front of his cataracts. I hope you won't take it personally when I say I had my doubts about you. I'm not surprised. Nothing ever gets done in Byzantium, you see. Competent work is, well, a statistical anomaly. Right, I kept my end of the bargain. I expect you to keep yours. Lifting the emergency lockdown requires overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. 
access to those facilities requires authorizations from two senior level researchers. Uh -huh. Marion Blakesley, Jasper Lowe. They went into hiding after the project collapsed, but I've managed to calculate their last known whereabouts within a reasonable margin of error. You use statistical analysis to figure out their location? Show me your math. I see you're familiar with my technique. I'd love to show you my numbers, but there aren't nearly enough napkins in this room. After the project shut down, I had to keep my mind occupied. I worked on my actuarial tables, calculated the average lifespan of a spacer's choice worker, that sort of thing. I realized some of the researchers had to be alive. I ran some numbers, did a little research, and concluded that the two most likely survivors are Marion Blakesley and Jasper Lowe. Wow, you haven't been able to let go of Project Gorgon either. Nonsense. I just needed a good old-fashioned statistical problem to busy my mind. Keeps the faculties lubricated. Right, right. I've got some questions about these researchers. I'll tell you what I can. What do, what do I need to know about Marion Blakesley? Dr. Marion Blakesley supervised the human inquiry and auditing facility. Live subjects, measuring tape and syringes, that sort of thing. Someone sabotaged the facility. Blakesley tended her resignation and vanished. I'm reasonably certain she's hiding in a maintenance bay on Groundbreaker. Are you sure it was sabotage? Well, with Spacer's Choice Equipment, who even knows? Dr. Blakesley tendered her resignation lawfully, but under suspicious circumstances. If you want to know more, you'd best ask her yourself. Okay, what about this Jasper Law guy? Dr. Lowe described himself as a dazzling genius in his review. I disagreed. Of the 19 criteria that constitute the rubric of genius, Dr. Lowe only met 15. Wow, so anal. After the project shut down, corporate traded him off to anti-Clio in exchange for five lab coats. He's been transferred to an orbital lab around Olympus. Wow. Must, must have been some fancy lab coats. Oh dear. How do I explain this without using too many syllables? Lab coats means scientists. It's a colloquial... It's slang. Let's get back on topic. You'll find Dr. Lowe in an orbital lab around Olympus. Okay, before I go, there was one other thing. Certainly. What's on your mind? Here, take your eye back. I don't want this thing in my pocket. Well, that's rather responsible of you. I'll put a good word in your permanent record. I'll leave you be. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.